so proud of myself today. I'm so proud of myself. You know what? What up, y'all? Fear and loathing. I know Armageddon, Armageddon won the poll and fear and loathing came first. But guess what? Armageddon coming next. Right off the rip. Nothing else. It's this and then Armageddon. And then, you know, we got the shows coming. We're getting to work over here on Patreon. YouTube. Guys, I don't know when y'all getting this, but when y'all get it, how y'all doing today? I hope everybody's feeling good. Hope everybody's feeling well. Uh, we trying to get back rolling over here to more consistency, more consistency. Life situations happened and, you know, I'm back now, though. We back. But other than that, we got fear and loathing in Las Vegas. And a couple of comments told me to have something prepared for this movie. So. I have something prepared for this movie, and, you know, I'm just doing it this movie because I was told to. If they tell you to jump off the bridge, are you going to do it? If I'm bungee jumping, maybe. See, you got to think of the stipulations. We didn't really think of it. But, <laughs> fear and loathing in Las Vegas, y'all. Keep it short. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Other than that, let's get it. Raindrops on roses. Bright copper kettles. Brown paper packages tied. Yeah, I don't like the look of that. The, the beginning, fair and loathing. He who makes a beast of himself gets rid of the pain of... We were somewhere around Barstow, on the edge of the desert, when the drugs began to take hold. We're gonna drugs. Suddenly, there was a terrible roar all around us. And the sky was full of what looked like huge bats. And a voice was screaming, oh, holy oh, where are these guys? Oh, they on psychedelic. They got the shrooms going. And drive. No point mentioning these bats, I thought. The poor bastard will see them soon enough. No bats out there, bro. Or maybe I'm blind. Hey. Fine. Yes. Gotta be a bat out there. Five sheets of high-powered blotter acid. Oh. A salt shaker half full of cocaine. Also a quarter tequila. Quarter rum, a pint of raw ether, and two dozen animals. Where the ether? Y'all trying to die? There is nothing in the world more helpless than a man in the depths of an ether binge. And I knew we'd get into that rotten stuff pretty soon. A House subcommittee report says. <laughs> Stay with the reefer. Forget the ether. That's crazy. One to go the line. One to go the line. Up here. This is bat country. Damn, I never rode in a convertible before. Get in. Toby, what the heck you doing out here hitchhiking? How long before one of us starts raving and jabbering at this boy? Would he make that grim connection when my attorney starts screaming about bats and huge manta rays coming down on the car? He'd report us at once to some kind of outback Nazi law enforcement agency and they'll run us down like dogs. Oh, he Jesus, did I say, I say that? that? Or just think it? Was I you said it out loud? It's okay. Just admiring the shape of your skull. No thanks. <laughs> Maybe I better have a chat with this boy, I thought. Can you hear me? Good. This is a very ominous assignment. I'm a doctor of journalism, man. No, no, no. Our vibrations <laughs> were getting nasty. It. Was there no communication in this car? Are you prejudiced? Hell no. <laughs> I didn't think so. How about some ether? What? Never mind. <laughs> what? 24 hours ago, we were sitting in the Pogo Lounge at the Beverly Heights Hotel. Drinking Singapore okay, so I guess we get the priest on the side. Perhaps this is the call you've been waiting for all this time, sir. Mm hmm? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he ruined his <laughs> Want me to go to Las Vegas at once. Make contact with the Portuguese photographer on the Serta. All I have to do... Checking on my soundproof suite. He'll seek me out. As your attorney, I advise you to rent a very fast car with no top. And you'll need the cocaine. How can I reach this attorney? We're going to have to arm ourselves to the teeth. This is the American dream in action. Get your bang for your buck with this attorney. It's the richest off-road race for motorcycles and dune buggies in the history of organized sport. Who owns the luxurious men hotel in downtown Las Vegas? Well, as your attorney, I advise you to buy a motorcycle. 
Oh, well. That boy attorney advising him to buy all type of stuff. Buy a convertible, no top. Buy a motorcycle. Buy a prostitute. But the car and tape recorder were not easy things to round up at 6.30 on a Friday afternoon in Hollywood. Be over in 30 minutes. You Samoans are all the same. You have no faith in the essential decency of the white man's culture. Sound like rough. But the salesman said he would wait if we hurry. If I could just get, get you John Hancock, you're on your way. <laughs> You just backed over a, a two-foot concrete above and you didn't even slow down. What were you going about? A... I always test the transmission that way. The oh. rear end for stress factors. You fellas haven't been uh, drinking, have you? No, not me. We don't drink, sir. See you later. <laughs> then we ate some mescaline and went swimming. A gross physical salute to the fantastic possibilities of life in this country. Hmm. My attorney understands this concept despite his racial handicap. <sighs> but do you? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I don't know if it's drugs. Listen, or... right. It's right here. Don't worry. This man has a bad heart. Oh, the Holy Ghost. I don't Big know. Big whiff. Big whiff, sonny boy. Put that on. What the? Somebody call the police. We need help. We need help. We need help. <laughs> Boys, I. I was going to Vegas yes. to croak a skank baron named Savage Henry. Savage Henry has cast his check. That bastard won't get away with this. I mean, what is going on? <laughs> Don't be out. Come on, over here. This, these guys are crazy. I'm gonna miss him. I'm gonna miss him. <laughs> Did you see what God just did to us, man? God didn't do that. You did it. That was our cocaine, you bitch. Here's your half of the sunshine acid. Acid while driving? The bat's going to Journey, I advise you to drive at top speed. It'll be a goddamn miracle if we can get there before you turn to a wild animal. <laughs> As your attorney, I advise you to drive at high speed and let me lick all the cocaine off the suitcase that I just spilled everywhere. 30 minutes. It was going to be very close. JJM, don't gamble with marijuana and Nevada possession. <laughs> oh, Come on, take the ticket. Take it. Take the ticket. I'll remember your face. There is no way of explaining the terror I felt. I was pouring sweat. My blood is too thick for Nevada. The waitress about 16 years old. Oh, yeah, he tripping balls. I think. Yeah. Well, uh, Free lunch, final wisdom, total coverage. <laughs> what is he talking about? But we must have that sweet. Yes, sir. Must have that sweet. What's the score here? Someone was looking for you. <laughs> oh, no! This man suffers from a bad heart. We're sweet at once. We'll be in the bar. God. <laughs> Your acid trip is crazy. I don't know about you, but I'm starting to feel that drink. Okay, beat it. Beat it. Got it. He finally lit that thing. Let's get some peanuts. peanuts. That's one thing that's good for you, man. <laughs> Who's Lacerda? Lacerda? Yeah, he's waiting for us on the 12th floor. I couldn't remember. The name rang a bell, but I couldn't concentrate. Terrible things were happening all around us. Mr. Roger Pratt, please call the hotel operator. I didn't expect that, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Bruh, I ain't never did acid. Is this what it do? I don't, this is crazy. Kinda dope. <laughs> I was right in the middle of a reptile zoo. And somebody was giving booze to these guys things. It won't be long now before they tear us to shred. I think I just seen reptiles having sex. I don't know if, if I needed that in my memory. Oh, Dr. Who mentions how to turn me? I just went uh, 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 upstairs. Please! Tell me about the f***ing golf shoes! <laughs> They've spotted us. <laughs> Come on, hurry up. Where the f*** are you going <laughs> you gotta carry Two yeah. more club sandwiches. Chicken out. There's a uh, big machine in the sky. 
What kind of food? Quart of rum. Oh. Sure, hearty eaters. I need the card. I need How long does the acid car. trip last? I'll be back. You're lucky I came back in time. Leave me alone. Oh, God, what's that? As the body continues, 21 year old novice. Your photographer. He's about to blow the photographer in. Your photographer. You're not a Portuguese. No. Miss the bikes checking in. Oh, man, what a sight. Yamahas, DMZs, Bankos. A couple of triumphs here and there, a CZ. <laughs> It's a hell of a trip right here. <laughs> I'm going to let myself out. <laughs> we know what you're up to, man. <laughs> the photographer don't know what the heck he walked in. Seeing his eyes. Eyes? We're on your news agency. All right, next morning, let's see if they high went down. We're ready at dawn. The Mint 400 is a far, far better thing than the Super Bowl, and the Lower Oakland Roller Derby Finals all rolled into one. This race attracts a very special breed. As he it was up. time to get grounded. Those of us who had been up all night were in no mood for coffee and donut. We were gathered here in Las Vegas for this very special moment in sport. Money plays, money plays. The start, Ladies let's go! Ladies and gentlemen, it's 400 desert race. I've never been to one of these, man. I'm missing out on that. Here we are! We're here to spit your enemy's eye! And now... Hey, the announcer lit! There was something like 190 more bikes waiting to start. They were due to go off 10 at a time every two minutes. Damn it, what day is it? Saturday? More like Sunday. Hello, anyone? <laughs> He's covering his drink. The idea of trying to cover this race in any conventional press sense was absurd. I'm just gonna try different combinations of lenses and film until I find something that works in this dust. He seemed excited to get the Get us out of here quick. We're gonna be killed for <laughs> He's still covering his beard. Oh God, oh God. What outfit you fellas with? The uh, sporting press. We're friendly. Hired geeks. Hired geeks? Yeah. yeah. It was time, I felt, for an agonizing reappraisal. You're fired. Fired up a time. I never want to see you again. I got a tape button to describe it to the top. He tried to cover it. The race was definitely underway. I was sure of that much. But what now? Let us taste this cool desert wind. Two good old boys in a fire apple red convertible. Stone. Ripped. All of them. Good people. <laughs> good people. <laughs> Y'all boys, it's out of it. Pass me some. You're turning out advice you to drive over to Tropicana. Royal Canadian. Why? <laughs> why? Why what? Why should I pay my hard earned dollars to watch a Court. He advised you, he your attorney. But in my line of business, it's important to be here. This is not a parking area. You've got to move you your can't. car. You can't park your car here. Reasonable, you're on a sidewalk. Well, the, the sidewalk. You can't park on the sidewalk. Seems like a hot ticket. What? With me, sir. This was Bob Hope's turf. The place fairly reeked of high-grade formica and plastic palm tree. A high-class refuge for big spenders. I said there are no seats left, sir, at any price. I used to romp with her. What's your name? My name? Yeah. Tony Pizzicato. Right. I think you've met the... Man, he cracking the thing. Open. He let us in for nothing, provided we would stand quietly at the back and not smoke. All right, we put it out. Okay, can't smoke in here. That sucks. I'll put it out until we leave. <laughs> That was short lived. <laughs> we back out. That was quick. Fellas, what happened? Time capsule. Let's go back. This is the place, man. Where's the ether? Hmm? Mescalines not working. He said, no, 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 no. Not the ether, fellas. No. Yeah, why not? Oh, they going there. The American dream. Huffing ether off an American flag. Don't get no better than that, y'all. Oh, devil ether. Total loss of all basic motor skills. Blurred vision, unable to communicate with the spinal column. Which is interesting because you can actually watch yourself behaving in this terrible way, but you can't control it. You have to give the man $2 or he won't let you inside. What's going on? When you hear yourself mumbling, 
Dogs fucked in full. Good women. Ether is the perfect drug for Las Vegas. Ladies and gentlemen. Ether is not a good drug for anywhere, y'all. Ether is crazy. I had a friend that used to uh, do ether. Crazy, he tried to get me to try it. No, I, I said, no, nah, bro, I'm good. Stick with the marijuana. <laughs> they still huffing. <laughs> <laughs> dog like, hey, get me the hell up out of here. These, what's going on? A drug person can learn to cope with things like seeing their dead grandmother crawling up their leg with a knife in her teeth. What? Should be asked to handle this trip. Place your bets. Everyone's a winner. But shoot the face. He's off the nipples in a tent. I'm not going here if I'm tripping. This place would be scary as hell. Monkey? Up to this fantastic machine. Just 99 cents. Say whatever you want, fella. Oh, they'll hear you, all right? The acid was long gone. But the mescaline was running strong. Good mescaline comes on slow. <laughs> but this place is getting to me. We came here to find the American dream. Now that we're right in the vortex, do you want to quit? We found the main nerve. That's what... Y'all found the main drug. What? They own everything. There's uh, two women f***ing a polar bear. Don't tell me those things. This is my last drink. How much money can you lend me? I have to go. Leave the country. Leave the country? This is serious. One more hour in this town, I'll kill somebody. Light, sir. Screw that bear. What? Why you better take care of your friend? Ma'am, he's a little <laughs> under the influence. This minor drugs, that's it. Nothing too crazy. Hey. You guys don't can give up. What is the thing gonna stop? Quick, like a bunny. Run. Hop. He can't make it. Oh, you. Seven. Oh, okay. oh. <laughs> All right, you stay here and go to jail. I'm leaving. He handling his drugs well. Attorney losing it. Come on. Some son of a bitch just kicked me in the back. Yeah. Cows are gonna kill me. Holy moly. My sexuals are gonna kill me. Let's get out of here. Where's the elevator? No, fuck. This is not a good town for psychedelic drugs. You think? Extremely menacing vibrations were all around it. Those bastards have changed your lock nose, man. Please, guys, go. What? Uh, Yeah. Yeah, I thought we might need it. So we can go up there and blast him out of bed. He told me he was going to turn in early, so. You know that little, uh, blonde groupie with the film crew? Think he's sodomizer? <laughs> That's right. How yeah, about it? He's gluing your eyes shut right now. Man. There was no break. He's on drugs 24-7. <laughs> no downtime. Let's go. Jesus, God almighty, man. Where'd you get that big f***? Uh, room service sent it up. Yeah. Limes? Cold bastard. He's shielding the coke. Shield the coke. We need this. Oh, now he has her, man. We'd had a problem with her in the elevator a few hours earlier. Thank you. We. Yep. I would have made a fool of myself, too. What class are you in? The f*** do you mean? See, we're here getting a little footage on the race for a television series. All right, uh... Here it come. I want you to f*** her in this town. You know what? Put this one okay. away. You know these guys. Keep trying to <laughs> jerk off. Keep trying to jerk off. me. <laughs> We'll catch the next one. The guy wielding a knife. Put the knife away. I'm walking all day. Come on. It's serious now. She fell in love with me, man. Eye contact, man. Heat winking. Have you made a deal with him? Did you put a want to her on? You better put that goddamn blade away, man. I'm gonna go get the car wash. Hmm? Never turn your back on a drug, especially when it's waving a razor-sharp hunting knife in your eye. What was I doing out here? What was the meaning of this trip? Yeah, I want to know that, too. Roaming around in a drug frenzy of some kind? Seems like it. Or had I really come out here to Las Vegas to work on a story? What's the story, bro? <laughs> they look like caricatures of used car dealers from Dallas. Still humping the American dream. Make me very rich. Okay, 
Dad. No, no. Calm down. Learn to enjoy losing. That's not fun. I hate the damn casinos, man. Man, what's that? You alone. In the water, messing with the radio. <laughs> Did you eat all this acid? Music, man. Put that table. On. What table? I'm leaving here in two hours. Just do me one last favor, will you? Can you give me two hours? I'll give you all the time you need. Well, at least he can clean himself right after he do it. Dude, he's really in there trying to take himself out. I want you to throw that fucking radio. You're going completely sideways now. Dude. That'll bust you right through the wall. I am Ahab. Uh, you gotta get that knife away from him. Make me use this, man. Let me make sure I've got this all lined up. Throw this thing into the tub when uh, White Rabbit peeks. I need to think. <laughs> throw it in when White Rabbit peeks. <laughs> He's trying to go out in a electric blaze of glory. Or the drug blades of glory. <laughs> Close your eyes. Nine. <laughs> what is going on with these two, man? In a way, I'm confused. Like. Is he just here in Vegas just to do drugs and nonsense? What's the point? <laughs> oh, we yeah. up! Yeah. Base man, you want this? I guess you do. <laughs> you do the You're asking me to kill you. Now you want to kill me. Shit, things change quick. Are you upset? I wouldn't dare go to sleep with you wandering around with a head full of acid and wanting to slice me up with that goddamn knife. Well, who said anything about slicing you up? I just wanted to cut a little Z in your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> Eat some reds and try to calm down. Smoke some grass. Come on, you big fucker! Up! You need to get to work. Try your best. Let me keep you up. The acid had shifted gears on him. He locked him in like a case down there. Four hours or so of catatonic despair. That lasts too long. Four hours? I don't want to be at no max high that long. My attorney had never been able to accept the notion, often espoused by former drug abusers, that you can get a lot higher without drugs than with them. How do you do that? For that matter. You need somebody. 1965, the great San Francisco acid wave. Recall one night in a place called the Matrix. There I am. Clearly, I was a victim of the drug explosion. I got all the making twice to go. I decided to eat only half of the acid at first. First acid trip. All this white stuff on my sleeve is LSD. <laughs> he was licking the hell out of his arm. It seems like a lifetime. The kind of peak that never comes again. It was a very special time and place to be a part of in that corner of time in the world. Was anybody there in the comments? Was anybody there? I wasn't, unfortunately. There was madness in any direction. There was a fantastic universal sense that whatever we were doing was right. Our energy would simply prevail. We were riding the crest of a high and beautiful wave. You can go up on a steep hill in Las Vegas and look west, and with the right kind of eye, you can almost see the high water mark where the wave finally broke and rolled back. Z on his head. Get out. Yeah, all right, good. Hurry up. Say nothing to no one, man. Maybe I'd planned it all along. They trashed the place. The bill was a factor, I think, because I had no money to pay for it. Our room service tabs had been running somewhere between $29 and $36 per hour. Damn! 48 consecutive hours. Incredible. Unbelievable. That rotten attorney of mine, Dr. Gonzo, was gone. Panic. 
crept up my spine like first rising vibes of an acid frenzy. Here I was, alone in Las Vegas. I had a gigantic hotel bill to deal with. How would Horatio Alger have handled this situation? Luckily, I had taken the soap and grapefruit and other luggage out to the car a few hours earlier. Yeah, wait, 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 here, here, here. Take this, all right. Roll 75 cent out the window. Oh! They had me. Many fine books have been written in prison. Huh? Sir? What? Does that mean anything? Yes, yes, it means a lot. Thanks. Uh, um, I'm what confused this was uh, Dr. Gonzo's signature on the telegram from Los Angeles. Never try to understand a press message. When will the doctor be awake? Awake? What do you mean? It's nothing unusual. Um, put him on a personal basis, you know? Just just a, a, a chat and a handshake. Go, 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 go! The telegram is actually all scrambled. All right, now I've got to go. Let's have lunch! See you later, buddy. Thank you. Or maybe not. <laughs> you gotta wait clean. Fear and loathing. Intolerable vibrations in this place. Do me one last favor, Lord. Just give me five more high-speed hours before you bring the hammer down. <laughs> Just heard the title. He said, Fear and Loathing. Oh, speaking of fear. I fear the popo, the popo behind it. One time. You're gonna have me on your head. Doing very well. People understand I mean, the psychotic. Oh. You're not make the bastard chase you. He will follow. Bullet holes in a maximum speed sign. Brace for the G's, fast heel toe. <laughs> What in the hell did you think you were doing? May I please have that? We have two cases of beer, a basket of grapefruit, a stack of t-shirts. You realize what you did when you drive like that? Yeah, I knew it was a crime. I did it anyway. Honest guy. I have a feeling you need to take a nap. I'd like you to go up there, pull over, and get a few hours sleep. That's not gonna help me. Who cop? I've been away for too long, three or four nights maybe. What are you carrying two cases of soap for? Want to stay clean. I advise you to proceed mm -hmm. to the next rest area. Stop! Do I make myself clear? Well, I was sort of hoping to uh, stop there for lunch. <laughs> Can you make it that far? I'll try. I ought to try the land crab. Look at me in the eyes. May I have a little kiss before you go? Huh? Oh. I thought he was trying to check his pupils. <laughs> hey, officer! The pig had done me on all fronts. Did he do it? I'll take advantage of that rest area. Guys, did he do it? Get a grip, man. This was not the time for a showdown. This was Death Valley. Oh! <laughs> oh, God, oh, God, I've got to go. <laughs> I don't have much time, man. The f***ers are closing in. They'll hunt me down. There's no way this phone works out here. Didn't you get my telegram? What telegram, you worthless bastard? You're supposed to be covering the National District Attorney's Conference. Everything is arranged. <laughs> he didn't open it. Never mind, it's all a big joke. Don't come anywhere near this place, you bastard. Foreigners aren't welcome here. <laughs> well, what a fool I was to defy him. I had no choice. On the way back to Vegas. Luckily, my credit card was still technically valid. Ten grand worth of gimmicks and high-priced special effects. The dashboard was full of esoteric lights and dials and meters that I would never understand. <laughs> Just look good. And there was a certain bent appeal in the notion of running a savage burn on one Las Vegas hotel. Me and a thousand ranking cops from all over America move confidently into their midst. <laughs> the District Attorney's Conference of Narcotics and Dangerous Drugs. This should be interesting. My arrival was badly timed. Oh! oh, he still got a little booger sugar left. Wipe your nose. I was eating birthday cake, guys. I am a police chief from Michigan. I have a reservation in this hotel. Your reservation okay. has been transferred to Moonlight Motel, which is just out on Paradise Boulevard. It has a pool, a uh, sauna, steam. You listen to me, you filthy little bitch! I want a manager down here! He caught him a... The, the, the F word. Very sorry, sir. Can I call you a cab? Sure, and I'll call you a... Sucker. Of course. <laughs> I could hear what the clerk was really saying. That's messed up. Listen, you fuzzy little shit. It's my turn. I'm in charge. Hey, listen, I, I really hate to interrupt. That was personal. Do Crowell. Certainly, sir. Two Fitz of Bacardi. Room and what's... I say okay. Anything for you. This cop ain't getting nothing. Don't worry, man. 
Look what you did when we were staying this house down. It's your business. Gonna get high blood pressure, man. You chill out. It's gonna be another day, bro. It's another hotel. Go to the moonlight hotel. <laughs> At least it's under the moonlight. Got some perks. <laughs> Lucy in the sky. Chill, Lucy. Bad Lucy. Come on. That's my client, Lucy. He's on our side. Lucy paints portraits of Barbara Streisand. That's who that is. I just learned about Barbara Streisand watching South Park the other day. That's crazy. Just to give these portraits to Barbara. I desperately needed peace. I hadn't counted on this. Finding my attorney on acid and locked into some kind of preternatural courtship. Why don't uh, I a uh, okay uh, out of the unk tray? You need some sleep. You need rest for real. Let's get this Can't out. even function no more. Don't answer the phone. God bless. God bless Barbara Streisand. I met her on the plane. She's a religious freak. We can keep her loaded and then uh, pedal her ass at the drug convention. These cops will go 50 bucks ahead to beat her into submission and then gang f her. Oh! We can set her up in one of these backstreet motels, hang pictures of Jesus all over the room, oh. and then turn these f***ing pigs loose on her. She'll hold her own. Hang pictures of Jesus all over the room. But I never expected to hear you actually say that kind of stuff. That was twisted. That was twisted. Shut She can make us a grand a day. That's ugly, man. I figure she can do about four at a time. Damn! It's more like two grand a day. Maybe three. Pumper full of acid and... Come on, man. That's crazy. What if I just jump on you and beat the dumb shit out of you? In a few hours, she'll probably be sane enough to work herself into some sort of towering Jesus-based rage at the hazy recollection of being seduced by some kind of cruel Samoan who fed her liquor and LSD and then savagely penetrated every orifice in her little body with his throbbing, uncircumcised member. Jeez. Truth hurts. That's... I want to help her, man. <laughs> You'll go straight to the gas chamber for this one. Even if you manage to beat that, they'll still send you back to Nevada for consensual sodomy. Golly, bro. No, she's got to go. It doesn't pay to try to help somebody these days. Sounds like you didn't really violate that girl, did you? I need a reservation for my niece. She's doing her master's thesis on, uh, well, Barbara Streisand. Last name? I'd rather not say. My brother's in politics. That was clean. Yeah, yeah, right on. Okay, yeah, bye. Yeah. He still hasn't wiped the coke off his nose. Only no choice but to cut her adrift. I hope her memory was. Yeah. Right there, sir. Right. Yeah. <laughs> he wiped his hands for Lucy. Let's find a good seafood restaurant, eat some red salmon. Oh! I look like real puke. Why the f can they make it a little less pure? You. you <laughs> And now, without further ado, the man who will define this cancer eating at the heart of America. Then they're smoking up. <laughs> Mine's went out, y'all. I ain't got no more. I'm enjoying my little high right now. Because we must. They're actually pretty nice people once you get some of To do this is for each one of us to imagine what it is like inside. A dope fiend <laughs> refers to the reefer butt as a roach. <laughs> yeah. It resembles a cockroach. <laughs> what the f those people are talking about? You gotta be what the hell is this dude on? In the cannabis or marijuana society, they are cool, groovy, hip, and square. Seldom. He talking. <laughs> if he figures out what is happening, then he can rise one night and become hip. <laughs> and then if he can convince himself to approve of what is happening, then he becomes groovy. Groovy. And then ah! he can actually raise himself to the rank of cool. Oh, shit. We he going can to become cool. one of those cool guys. But what I can tell you, sir, is if Margaret Mead, at her age, smoked grass, <laughs> She'd have one hell of a trip. <laughs> one more layer yeah. of I'm like, okay, I like this intervention. Well, uh, this is funny. Thank you. Thank you. Thank hey. you. Thank you for having me. Objective, please. When's the next one? No, you're dope fiend. 
Your life may depend on it. What? You will. The dope fiend fears nothing. He will attack you for no reason with every weapon at his command. Hey, what the hell type of movie is this? Any officer apprehended or suspected marijuana addict should use all necessary force immediately. Yeah, time to get out of here now. Now they tripping. The movie just made it awkward. Lucy Cole. He just had more red salmon. Lucy Cole, huh? Those two men in the dock, they gave me the LSD. They gave you what? LSD. Double cast pressure! Double cast pressure! Where's my 357, man? That's not good. Double cast pressure! That might be worse than a chair. Relax. Relax. Let me handle this. <laughs> Lucy's become a loose end. As your attorney, I advise you to take a hit out of the little brown bottle in my shaving kit. <laughs> we done Just taking your advice, attorney. What is it? Makes pure mescaline seem like ginger beer, man. Or take it easy on that stuff. Adrenochrome. Adrenochrome? The hell is that? Like they bringing out crazy drugs now. You won't be bothering anybody for a while. I pull all his teeth out. Took a milligram. They'll trace the call and put you straight behind bars. I'm gonna let you know what it is and um. <laughs> hey, it was Duke. It was Duke. He blaming Duke. <laughs> what did he do to Lucy? Gonzo, bro. Oh. That's the last we should be oh. hearing from Lucy, man. You know what we need? We need some hope. Yo, y'all need rest, sleep, sober up one time. Just real quick. And then get the opium. Y'all on too many things at once. <laughs> Where'd you get this? Never mind, it's absolutely pure. Well, he was kidding. Oh, so I told oh. him I'd just as soon have an ounce of so pure adrenochrome. We should get some of that. Just eat a big handful and see what happens. Some of what? <laughs> what the? One whiff of that stuff will turn you into something out of a medical encyclopedia. Uh, Nobody would turn to all that cool. <laughs> but I'd never in hell touch a peeling of gland. Damn. What happened? What about the glands? You're about to explode. You took too much, man. You took too much, too much. You took too much, man. You took too much. You took way too much. Don't try and fight it. You get brain bubbles, strokes, aneurysms. Uh, she just told me that before. The devil. What the? What kind of rat bastard psychotic would play that song right now at this moment? What type of trip was he on? How long had I been lying there? There was evidence in this room of excessive consumption of almost every type of drug known to civilized man since 1544 A.D. <laughs> Y'all been taking every drug, and I, I did, y'all take drugs I ain't never heard of. What kind of addict would need all these coconut husks and crush honeydew rinds? How many nights and weird mornings had this been going on? Yeah. Something ugly had happened. I was sure of it. <laughs> Dude, Steve-O Jr., he been puking all movie. I was polishing my shoes in the closet when I noticed her sneaking in. Why do you think we're here? I, I know you're the cops. Maybe she's telling the truth. Maybe she's not part of it. I hate dope. So do we. I think we should uh, put her on the payroll. But the first time that you say anything about this to anybody, you will go straight to prison. You'll be contacted by Inspector Rock. Don't bother to make up the room. Just leave a pile of towels and soap outside the door exactly at midnight. Ah, oh, man. Real license to steal. Listen. He live in the American dream. How much for the ape? Madness. It made no sense at all. I desperately needed the facts. So I'm, I'm guessing his story's never going to get done. <laughs> they too high to do it. What the hell? This movie has been a frenzy of doing drugs and trash in Vegas. I love it. That we've been heading for trouble. That we've pushed our luck a bit too far. You think? This is not all very real. No sympathy for the devil. Take the ride. <laughs> Throwing 
up again. This is the real stuff. I just got back from Vietnam. No hassles, no talk. Just a place to rest and regroup. Waiter got back. Two glasses of ice water with ice. Two glasses of ice, glasses water, of ice. water with ice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm use that. I'm gonna I'm mess somebody up with that one. Now get a glass of ice water with ice, please. They're gonna do a double take. Uh, hey, yo. This guy's an idiot. She looked like a burnout caricature of Jane Russell, but I knew that our peace was about to be shattered. Uh, he coking up. He coking up. What is this? It's a napkin. What's wrong with you? The question hey, mark was thinking? emphasized. Hey, you check and get the hell out. How much is that lemon meringue pie? Her eyes were turgid with fear. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, he, he paying her. At least he paying her. He ain't stealing it. She does look terrified. I'll be in the car. The glazed look in her eyes said her throat had been cut. That's why that knife terrified her. Mm. Never know what can traumatize somebody. Fifteen minutes to get my attorney to the airport. You still got coke on you know. Oh yeah, he was just sniffing a bunch. Oh no! I don't fuck you, son of a- Stop! She still had her Barbara Streisand poster. Did she ever get to meet Barbara Streisand? Probably not, because Barbara Streisand's a bitch. That's what they said on South Park. I don't know Barbara Streisand personally. I've never missed a plane yet. The Cadillac! I'm gonna drop you right next to the plane. <sighs> he destroyed the lemon meringue pie. If you have any trouble, you can always send a telegram to the right people. There he goes. A high-powered mutant of some kind never even considered for mass production. Why is this Cadillac still driving? They built for it tough. All those pathetically eager acid freaks who thought they could buy peace and understanding for three bucks a hit. A generation of permanent cripples. Failed seekers. A desperate assumption that somebody is tending the light at the end of the tunnel. Hey, y'all, he looks sober at the end. What about the story? What what happened, y'all? What did I just watch? I was confused. Uh, I was trying to figure out the motive. What the what's the point? What's the objective? What what's 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 going on? What is this all leading to? What is this big drug binge leading to? <laughs> Somebody explain this to me. I don't know where it led. Let the Gonzo leaving and him just what? <laughs> Man. I'm, I feel high. How many drugs you need in your system? They better chill out. One drug at a time, y'all. One at a time. Don't double up on your drugs. You start doubling and tripling up on your drugs. That's when this ticker start messing with you. And you start getting paranoid. You know, and you do things you don't remember, and that's never good. It's never, you don't want to have a Lucy situation, guys. Guys, listen to me. You don't want to, <laughs> don't mix your drugs. See, that's not even funny. I'm laughing at, gosh. I'm, what's, <laughs> that was a trip. I should have took some mushrooms and watched that. That would have been wild. That's the only uh, psychedelic I ever done with some shrooms. Acid gets you like that. He would see a dinosaurs, reptiles having sex. That's something I know. I, I I needed to see. Reptile tearing another reptile. Off. I get that. Get it. Go. <laughs> um. Fear and losing, y'all. I'm still lost.
Tell me what happened in the comments. Until next time. What's next?